there you have it. This is a Model X couch. Okay, so you probably saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, and you're asking yourself, why? I pose a question to you, why not? So this all kinds of started a while back. We're building kind of a little studio down here and I needed some furniture and I'd rather use furniture that kind of went with what I liked and the whole channel is basically about Tesla. So I figured, let's see if we can make some furniture out of the Tesla. So I actually went all over online, turned out eBay was a huge help and I actually found some seats. These were not my first choice. I was actually hoping to get like the middle row of three seats. That would have been ideal or maybe some of like the captain's chairs or what have you. Unfortunately though, I couldn't find any of those at least for a reasonable price. But I happened to stumble across a seller that was selling a perforated white and a non-perforated white Model X third row. So I went ahead and worked out a deal with them to pick these up. These do actually have the wiring harnesses cut on them, so it's not like they could easily be put back into a rebuilt car. And they did both come from totaled cars uh, that the seller was parting out all the pieces. So I went ahead and struck up a deal and got them shipped here. There's some slight issue with the shipping. Some parts got lost, some parts showed up late. Anyway, we finally got everything here and the next goal was to make these bases that they're sitting on so that they actually sit up at the right height. I actually had some boxes from some big items that were shipped. Some were like different heights and I put them on those to try to figure out exactly what height I wanted these stands to be. And with what we settled on, I think it was like perfect. I think it's about 12 inches on the stand and so Went ahead, got to Home Depot. They got actually all the wood cut for me, which is amazing. I just bought a big four foot by eight foot piece and I got all the base out of that. So that was like $30 for the wood. And then in each corner of the base, I did a one by two and that's what's holding everything together. Got all that assembled and next up, I didn't want it to look like wood under here. I wanted it to look like a car. So I did a bunch of research and I thought about painting it black, but that was like, eh, not ideal. So I actually found somebody who sells, this is actually interior car carpet. So kind of like what's on the floors and whatnot. So I picked up a bunch of that and actually wrapped the bases in that carpet, makes them kind of look more OEM. I'm just really happy that I was able to find something that actually looked good. And next up came putting the actual seats on them. I was originally thinking the seats would just kind of sit on it and I really wouldn't have to do much, but they're very bag heavy. So if you sit the seats on here, they fall. So that obviously wasn't gonna work. Luckily there's these four holes, one here, two in the middle, and one on this side, and same in the back. And so I went ahead, drilled those holes, and actually tapped them with some bolts with a washer on them, just so they would hold. I actually didn't even do any bolts on the back yet, and they're holding great because the back does kind of bend down a little bit. But it is probably something I will end up doing. So then just came putting on the cushions. This one actually had its seat belt already tied in, whereas the non-perforated did not. So I had to kind of route those in and then got the bases on. Everything was good. Next up, the headrest. That kind of proved to be a little, little bit of a problem. Not so much of a problem as just a hassle because I had to take them on, take them off, take them on, take them off, take them on, take them off several times until I could figure out how to do it. I have no idea how Tesla actually does this, but I found a way that finally worked. And then yeah, after the headrest, we have our finished products here. So super excited to have these as the first official furniture for the studio. Uh, kind of in a little corner of the studio, I really can't show you much. So I had to move a bunch of stuff. A lot of cool stuff coming, but these will definitely be a great place to sit in the studio and everything. We have a couch and I can strap in um, I don't know. I think it'll still work without electricity. Wish me luck. Okay. Ooh, the tensioner still works on it. And 
we are able to get out, thank god. <laughs> that would have been kind of fun just getting stuck. Really happy with the way they came out though. Came out way better than I would have thought. Uh, David has not seen them yet. He knows I was working on them. He knows kind of like the general gist. So I'm going to go call David and have him come down here and uh, check him out for the first time and see what he thinks. So check it out. Well, looks like a couch. That's weird. It still has the seatbelts on there. I guess I didn't notice that before. Yeah, so this one actually had it. This one, they were like way up here. So I had to reroute them and attach them. But check it out. I didn't know you were going to put it all along like that. Well, or, we're going you know. to have probably one here, one here, but so yeah. I make Model X couch. Oh, yeah, I see this so, is yeah, the... So, uh... yeah, the perforated and the non-perforated. Hmm. Yeah. They cleaned up beautifully. And check yeah. it out. My holy jeans. It's Sunday. It's Sunday. You can actually... Oh, yeah. Well, we can put it double rows, too. Yeah. You can actually... Yeah. Cool. But, like... Oh, they're very nice and comfortable, though. I know, right? Just the right height. So, yeah. What do yeah. you think? That looks nice. So the only thing I was thinking though is uh, possibly wrapping this the black material like this. Because oh, yeah. this will get furry because it's that yeah, hard yeah. carpet. Yeah, but it matches what's like in the car, in the back That's of true. the car it looks like. Oh, but then we even got cup holders too. You got cup and oh, we can get USB in cool. too. I was going to say we could probably run yeah. some. Yeah, oh I can make those work, no problem. batteries or put some wiring in there to get the USB going. Yeah, I can get those to work, not a problem. But yeah, so... There you have it. This is a Model X couch rebuilt from seats from totaled cars. This isn't going to be the only like videos I do taking parts from Tesla cars and repurposing them into furniture. I actually have a lot of fun ideas, some more things being shipped to me so I can do some more fun stuff. And actually these are two of the first pieces of furniture for the new studio. Comment down below what you guys think of these. Is this something that you guys would see doing yourself? I would love to put these upstairs, but I think these have a better home here in the studio. Yeah, comment down below if you guys want to see like a prolonged stain test too, because that's something we can do with these. I don't think they'll stain, but you never know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it though. It was a blast making these. I can't wait to actually get the studio fully done. It's taking a little longer than usual because I'm doing it all myself and it takes time. Again, huge thanks to our channel sponsor, Abstract Ocean. If you guys are looking to accessories Model S, X, or Model 3, definitely check them out. Using code Tesla Inventory, all one word, will get you 15% off your first order. It's an awesome deal. They have all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, screen protectors, different kind of wraps for your center console on Model 3. A lot, of, a lot of really cool things. Actually, some fun videos on some of those things coming soon too. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. As always, thumbs up if you did. Go ahead and click here to subscribe here for some other ones. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.